Hello again, this is Don. Uh, I'd like to just talk to you about the five reasons solder doesn't flow. Somebody will call me at three in the morning and say, my solder just isn't flowing. And I'll always say, well, why do you think it is? And I say, is your solder dirty? No. Is it, uh, did you flux good? Yes. Did, um, is it for sure solder? Did you get it mixed up? No. And there's only one reason that solder doesn't flow. But everybody gives about four reasons. The first one is that the silver or the solder is dirty. And of course, if it was so dirty you don't want to touch it, just that gross, then yeah, wash it with soap and water and get it cleaned up. But I never steal wool my silver or my solder. It never needs that. Um, I actually challenged a class one time of 11 people to go out and make the solder so dirty that it um, just looked gross. We had oil and dirt and transmission fluid on it. We just went ahead and, and soldered the piece together without cleaning either the silver or the solder and it just soldered perfectly. So that's, that's bunk. Uh, the other one is if you don't flux it well. Well, of course, if you don't get it fluxed, it's not fluxed. So you'll have to review that in one of my CDs or DVDs the, of how to flux and make sure that it's coated. So if it's not fluxed, it's not fluxed. It's easy to see. If you don't flux it good, that's your own fault. The third reason, of course, is if you mix it up. If you use sterling silver as solder, of course it's not going to work. Um, so, uh, you know, just don't get them mixed up. Always mark your solder when it comes into the shop. I always put H's on mine because I used to use hard, medium, and easy solder many years ago. So I still put H's on all my pieces of solder so I won't ever mix them up. So if you do get them mixed up again, it's your own fault. Get mad at yourself. The third reason that almost no one mentions is that solder is made to melt at a certain temperature. So in my case, it's always hard solder around 1450, 1450 degrees. If you don't get the metal up and the solder up to 450 degrees, it's not going to melt. It needs to get a little higher to flow. So if it's not melting and flowing, 99% of the time you need to turn up your torch, get a bigger flame, heat more of the piece of silver, and uh, raise your torch up a little bit, go to your solder joint, and it'll flow. So turn up that torch. The fifth reason is a reason that I came up with that you'll never see in a book as far as I know except mine, and that's if you don't heat it up quick enough. That, that is, if you don't get the piece hot enough quick enough, the solder or the silver or both oxidize, and then the solder doesn't want to flow. So I have a 30 second rule. If it doesn't melt in 30 seconds, you must turn up your torch and uh, back up a little bit, heat the whole piece, especially the farthest point away, then go to your solder joint and your solder will flow.